In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Windows PE boot disk. And I'm going to create it using Windows AIK, the Automated Installation Kit. But this tutorial is part of a bigger lab. And in the bigger lab, the goal is to create a golden Windows 7 system image that you can then install throughout an entire lab. This image that you're going to create is called a WIM, or Windows Image. And what you want to do is make it a prepared system that includes the operating system, the drivers that you're going to need, the programs, the files, everything that you would otherwise need to install one by one on all of the computers in your network. Using this method, you install everything on one system the way you want it, then you turn it into a golden image or WIM file, and then you can install that WIM file across the entire lab just from the one image. To do this, you're going to use Windows AIK, the Windows Automated Installation Kit, Windows PE Boot Disk. You can also create it for, to a CD or a USB thumb drive, and you're also going to need Windows 7. I have a complete write-up of this lab on my website at www.danscourses.com, and I have the link here at the bottom. So, step one, we need to create a Windows PE boot CD or Windows PE USB thumb drive. To do this, we're going to need to first download the Windows AIK.ISO image file. Second, we're going to need to burn the .ISO image file as a disk image to a DVD. Three, we're then going to use that DVD to install Windows AIK on a computer running Windows 7 or Windows Vista. Now, where do you download the Windows AIK? .iso image file. You can download it by doing a quick Google search for Windows AIK and it'll take you to this web page right here which is at Microsoft.com, the download center, and you can see it says here Windows Automated Installation Kit AIK for Windows 7. It is a big download, it's 1.7 gigabytes. You can see there's the download link right here and it downloads as, let's take a look, it downloads as KB3 AIK underscore en dot iso so it's an iso file okay i'm going to cancel that because i already have it downloaded once you have that iso file downloaded you'll need to burn it to a dvd because it's 1.7 gigabytes in size then you install it to your system so as you can see right here if i go to start all programs and i go to microsoft you see there it is microsoft windows aik and there's the tools inside Okay, let's get started. We're going to need to put our cursor over Deployment Tools Command Prompt and open up this command prompt. But to do it, I'm going to right click and choose Run as Administrator. That's pretty important. All right, let's see if we can change the font size to make this easier to see. All right, so now I have my command prompt open, and you can see that it's Windows AIK Tools, and I'm inside of the PE or pre-installation tools environment. And the command you're going to want to run is copy pe.cmd and then the architecture. And for the architecture choices, it's either x86, AMD64, or IA64 at the time that I did this lab. So I'm going to choose x86 for my architecture and then the destination folder. So for the destination folder, I'm going to go to the C drive, colon, put a backslash, and then put the name of the folder that I want to put these tools that we're creating in. So I'll put it in a folder called winpe underscore x86. This will create this folder on my C drive. And I'll hit enter. And you can see that the files are copied to that directory. And now my command prompt is in the C drive and in the winpe underscore x86 folder that we just created. Next, we're going to copy and rename the winpe.wim file that's inside this folder. So what we'll do is we'll use the command copy space where we're copying from. So C colon backslash winpe underscore x86 backslash winpe 
dot wim and then a space and then the directory we're going to copy to so c colon backslash win pe underscore x 86 backslash iso backslash sources backslash and then the new name boot dot wim and hit enter all right and it gives us a response that the one file was copied now what we need to do is we need to copy the imagex.exe program to our new winpe underscore x86 folder that we've created so we want to copy imagex.exe into this folder now we're going to need to figure out where is imagex.exe on our computer now even though Windows AIK was installed to our programs the Windows AIK program isn't necessarily in the programs folder for instance if I go to computer and I go to my C drive you can see that Windows AIK is not in my program files folder it's actually here in my um, root of my C drive in a folder called Windows AIK if I open that up the Windows AIK folder this is the program and if I go into tools and then x86 you can see the image x.exe program and if you can't see your file extensions maybe you should just turn them on so go to organize folder and search options view and uncheck hide extensions for known file types so you can see your file extensions so anyway we need to copy this program into our new folder. Now I could just copy it here by just right-clicking, copying, and then pasting, but I'm going to do it through the command line. So we'll do it right here. So we'll say copy c colon backslash, and then we're looking at Windows AIK. I believe that is it. Let's see if we can do a tab completion here. Yep. Windows AIK backslash, and we can see that it's in the tools x86 folder so we'll say tools backslash x86 and then backslash image x dot exe all right so that is the that is the program that we want to copy and we want to copy it to c colon backslash win pe underscore x86 backslash ISO and then I'll just put a backslash to say I want it to go into that folder alright so let's take a look make sure our command is correct and then hit enter on the keyboard and it says one file was copied now if you'd like to you can go into your and just browse through your file system to see if it was copied there so let's go to our C drive and take a look at our WinPE folder that we created there it is I'll just open it up and you can see inside of it, uh, we'll go to ISO, and there is our imagex.exe program that we just basically copied and pasted in there through the command prompt. Okay, so we went beyond our first three steps. We downloaded and installed Windows AIK. I had already done that. And what we've done since then is open a command prompt as an administrator. We copied WinPE to a folder on the C drive. Then we copied and renamed winpe.wim into the folder, and we copied the imagex.exe program also to the folder that we created on the C drive. Now we have everything prepared, and all we need to do is either create a USB boot drive with winpe on it, or create a boot CD with winpe on it. And in this tutorial, I'm going to choose the latter and create a boot CD with Windows PE. And we're going to do it through the command prompt. So I'll open up the command prompt, and I can create my CD image file just from the command prompt using the OS CD IMG program. So I'll type in OS CD IMG space dash N space dash B capital C colon backslash win PE 
underscore x 86 backslash ETFS boot dot com space C colon backslash win PE underscore X 86 backslash ISO space C colon backslash win PE underscore X 86 backslash win PE X 86 dot ISO. Okay, that's a bit of a long command. Let's take a look at it. We're going to use the OSCD IMG space dash N space dash B. Then I put a capital C just to help us visually colon a backslash WinPE underscore x86 backslash ETFS boot dot com and then I pass it two destinations. The first destination space C colon the WinPE x86 folder that we created backslash ISO and then a space and then once again C colon backslash WinPE underscore x86 backslash WinPE 86 dot ISO. So what this will create is our ISO image file that we could burn to a CD and it will be called WinPE x86 dot ISO and this command here will basically package everything up that we need for our um, bootable CD our WinPE boot CD and it'll put it into an ISO file that is then ready for us to burn or we could just use as an ISO so I'll just put in this command and you can see that it's going through a process right now scanning the source tree computing the directory 100 percent complete final image file the size of it and it's done let's go see if we can find our image file that we created we'll go to the computer into the C drive we'll look in our WinPE underscore x86 folder that we created and there it is WinPE x86 dot ISO this is our WinPE boot disk image that we could then burn as a disk image to a CD and use as a WinPE boot disk.